Verification graphics can be used by simply hitting the draw button once you've programmed a particular profile to see whether or not the profile is what, it, what you think it should be. Here we see an image of the actual verification graphics. Now, the graphics will show in either wireframe or verification graphics. Verification is actually a simulated running of the part, very much like it will be on the machine. And you notice at the bottom of the soft key selections, you have the wireframe, wireframe graphics. That's just going to be what you would expect it to be, just a wireframe of the um, actual part. We have a bunch of different views available here. We have the uh, top view, or excuse me, the side view, which is just an XY. I can look at the end of the part, a three-dimensional view, um, a YZ top view where the, it's turned 90 degrees or all views at the same time. Here we're looking at the side. The side and 3D view are actually the two that are most common. We have a soft key um, here on the main screen you see uh, called views and under views we have something called view options. This is where we're going to turn on and off things like the part surface, whether or not we want to show stock or not, or the, if we are looking at solids. There's a half view, three-quarter view, full view, meaning uh, sections of the part have been removed for, for viewing if I need to see the inside profiles and so forth, whether or not the part is translucent or opaque, things like that. We can also set up uh, information for both the stock geometry as well as the chuck and the jaw setup. The chuck and jaw setup is usually done once. It's just going to show you what the size of chuck and the jaws look like in reference to the size of your part just gives you a little bit of visual reference there is nothing to keep you from running into the chuck or the jaws there's no kind of barrier there this is just information purposes only and then for the stock you're going to put in a length how much of the stock is actually sticking outside of the chuck what's the diameter of the stock whether it has an id or so forth now to use the verification graphics when you create a brand new program you're going to get a work offset or a part setup for Z of zero. That means, as we talked about in the part setup screen description, that, that there's no distance from the face of the spindle nose, which is the back of the chuck, out to the part. Well, the control knows that if you are trying to turn something negative into the headstock from that location, it cannot do that, and you're going to get an alarm. So you have to put some arbitrary value in the Z offset just to get the graphics to run. 11 inches seems to suit most parts. Some people will find that they can shrink that depending on the type of work that they do, especially the type of machine they may be using. Uh, you might shrink that to 8 inches or 5 inches or, or what have you, whatever tends to work for you. But 11 inches, um, the worst that's going to happen is you're just going to show in graphics a part sticking further away from the chuck than it actually is. And when you do the actual part setup on the machine, of course, this number is going to be changed to whatever the actual distance of the part hanging out is for your particular setup. 